as you can see, heaps of people all dressed up, costumes and everything, but you can still notice our Pacific people with their Polynesian tattoos. For example, Fred Frost from Compton, Andy Tawafiafi here in Wellington, and I got my sister Ala from Auckland. Who was the Tufunga that did your malu? Um, Suluwa did it. And what was the reason for you getting it? Um, my dad has passed on in 2006, so I got this done in 2007 um, for my dad. Oh, awesome. Very nice malu. Thank you. Yeah, you got a boyfriend? I have a husband. Oh, he must have seen the whole malu. <laughs> yeah, right. We're going to throw it back to you guys there and see who else has been in. Uh, I'm of Cook Island and Māori descent. My father hails from the Cook Islands, his mother's from Aitutaki and his father's from Rarotonga and my mother is New Zealand Māori from here in Aotearoa. I really love my tattoo uh, because of what it means and also it comes from my home country. I got this done in the uh, Cook Islands uh, last year in July and basically in the tattoo is the lizard or the moko and that represents uh, a guardian but it's also a, a cheeky animal which is very much what I'm like, I'm quite a cheeky person. And also the tapani or the, the flower represents the beauty of the islands. Um, within the body of the, the moko, uh, these patterns here, this is called the ruru and that represents the island of Aitutaki which is um, where my grandmother comes from. And uh, this pattern here in the tail, just right across the top, is the uh, Maurima or the Tikitiki Tangata, which represents the unity of the people in Rarotonga. It's very cultural for me, I love it. <laughs> 